Craveness. Yes, yes, and yes. Let's say prayers and let's dig in. Whew. Bow your heads with me if you will. Oh, I'm excited. Oh my God, I just say thank you, thank you, thank you for your beautiful blessing, for your lessons, even for your whoopings when we do wrong. Have mercy upon us. Let this food be nourishment to my beautiful and healthy body. Have your way in my life. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Okay, y'all. We got those corn dogs and the onion rings. I cooked them in my uh, air fryer, and it was smelling so good. Oh, y'all, I'm so excited. So let's let's toast. We have some uh, Shasta orange, you know, so it's, it's hump day. I was thinking about a cocktail, but I, maybe I'll do one later. Maybe I can even do a cigar later with a cocktail. I don't know. I'm thinking about it, y'all. So, this is for all of my new subscribers and uh, everybody who is sharing me. Thank you. So, salut. And even the ones who shouted out for me. Thank you. So, salut. Salut. Sip, sip this good orange soda. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So come on in, take a seat. Bring your Kool-Aid, your water, your soda. Bring your, your food, your snacks, because we're going to just sit here, chit, and chat with this only one hood girl, too. Love y'all. Let's dig in, because I'm ready. Y'all know I got my, my ketchup. And y'all already know what, what muscle do I have. Ooh, y'all. Oh, they so crunchy. I hope I ain't overcook them. <laughs> I, I looked on Google. Y'all know I love, love the jalapeno mustard, y'all. It's in your H-E-B market. Mm. Oh, eat this. Taste the peppers, y'all. Oh, Lord, I closed that too tight, you know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, for my... My onion rings, let's see how crunchy they are, y'all. Listen. Oh. Mm. Oh, I ain't trying. Oh, 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 oh. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, oh, God. Mm. I did. Ooh, uh uh. Gotta be no. Take a bite. You know what? No, we can't do that. Take a bite. Yum, yum. Give me some. I'm kind of scared to bite it because I know it's going to be so hot. Mm, no, let's see. This is very corn. Mmm. That is perfectly cooked, y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Oh, God, that's so good. Take a bite. Mm-hmm. Mm. I got two good things in my hand. I don't know which one I'm going to eat. Mm-mm. It's good. Mm. Mm. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm. <laughs> y'all, this got to be the, the best midweek meal for me. Mm -hmm. You know, when y'all want to do some uh, homemade hamburgers, maybe with some Texas toast or something, or a patty milk, something, I don't know. Okay, y'all, this is my follow-up on one of my videos I did maybe that I posted a couple of days ago asking men what do they want in us? What what do they look for in a woman? I have um uh, I have not gotten any response. Cause you know the game plan 
is what is today. You know, I believe I may be wrong. And if I'm wrong, I don't I don't mind y'all saying y'all what you think. This is just this hood girl thought, right? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. And that's spicy mustard. I think that there's men have options. Y'all remember, I don't y'all remember maybe I think I said this 10, 10 videos ago. Uh, maybe 20 years ago. It was like 10 women to one man. Today, I believe it's 40 or more. So, a, a lot of times we are an option. Mm-mm-mm. Dang, that's good. I think women with men today is an option. They don't have to pick just one. They can have as many as they want if they're not ready to settle down. That's my belief, my thought, my opinion. Now today, our black man, and that's, that's what I'm talking about our black man, because that's what I feel. For me, they are dating other cultures, and that's okay because you don't know who you're gonna love or be attracted to. And and, and I'm not bashing anybody, but us black women, only a few of us really do date outside of our race. We have to get out of that. We're going to have to, I mean, some of us, we know what we like. And we want our black men. But I think this is a new day and time, y'all. We're going to have to let go of what we want and let something that's supposed to be for us come on in. Because if we're going to stay where we are, with our own perception of what we want, we're not gonna let anything come in. I can raise my hand. I'm, I'm, I'm. I raise my hand first, y'all, because I love my black man. Ooh, I love my black man. But right now, we're not the first pick <laughs> anymore. Mm-hmm. And I said this again on another video. I don't know what's going around in the world. I only know what's going on in my city. Okay? For us, black women who love our black men, we, we got to know that we're not the first pick. We're not ready to go outside of our race today. We may tamper with it. We may flirt with, with it. But until we're really ready, we're going to stay stuck where we are. And if you realize and look around, <laughs> it ain't about us no more. But I asked, I really did ask a few men, black men, what's the difference? And if I tell you once, I'll tell you a thousand times. It says our mouth. It says our mouth. But when I think about what they say, and then they had an analogy. I'm not going to do all that analogy because I don't want to offend anybody. But I'm going to say this to you, my black people. Men. Men. What about us? 
Are we too strong for you? Are you intimidated by our strength? Are you intimidated by our wealth? Are you intimidated by our stature? If you're a king, don't be intimidated for a strong queen. Because I'll say this a thousand times again. We were always the strong woman on your side. Mm-hmm. 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 When you think about black women today, with our mouths, as they say, I think they forgot our men of what they did to us for why we are today and what we talk about today, how we act today. Every action has a reaction. So, I'm going to step on a few toes. For all you men who left your wives or your girlfriends for the other woman around the corner, in the club, at the store, because you thought the grass was green on the other side. When you did us wrong, we reacted. Because pain, pain reacts. When we saw what you did to our grandmothers, when we saw what you did to our grand, great-grandmothers, to our own mothers, our sisters, our aunties, Gotta understand that every action has a reaction, and sometimes we react by what we were taught, or what we went through, or what we see today. You know? That's just my thought, y'all. Again, I may be wrong, but that's my opinion. Because I analyze, and I observe, and I watch, and I listen. You know? And I see it with my eyes because being a uh, host for eight-minute speed dating, when all your clients come in, and at the end of the day, when they pick their mate, I start. The black man never picked the black woman. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And I'll say this again. I'm not bashing a black man that picks another race because you don't know who you're going to love. That's a true statement. But for the last 10 years, at the least... We see that we're not on their arms. Things have changed. Times have changed. You know? So, that's my thought. And me and I encourage you to respond because we really want to know. We really want to get inside your mind. We want to get inside your head. We want to get inside your heart. And help us to understand what you want and what you think you need. Because we got it. We really do. Don't be afraid of us. Mm -hmm. I can be the best queen when my God give me my king. Shoot. Y'all, mm -mm. we're going to do a movie. <laughs> mm hmm So, yeah. You know, when I saw Love is Blind, when Lauren and Cameron got together, you see they love. That's why I'm saying us, black women. Listen to me. We don't know where love is going to come from. But if he's a little lighter than you like, 
allow them a chance because that could be the best love that you will ever have or experience. Even if it's for a season, you know. So I'm show y'all I'm doing something a little different. Mm -hmm. I love my black man. But I'm not going to wait for him if he don't want me. <laughs> if they're not picking us, then, you know, we got to move on. We got to move, move on, move around. Mm -hmm. So, I want to just do a follow-up. And this is going to be another follow-up. Because I would love to do a forum, a meeting with maybe 20 women. And a few men on the panel. So we can ask them in their face. What do y'all want? When you look at us, what do you see? When you listen to us, what do you hear? Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave it right there. My brothers and sisters. I love y'all. I'm a new uh, hostess that came in today. Before you leave, don't forget to hit that subscribe button that notification bell right on the side ding dong ding dong don't forget to comment share and like because i read every comment and i reply to them all